Not a thing to do, but to talk with you. We're all all right. We're all all right. Hello, middle of nowhere. One. Oh my God! I can't wait! I can't wait! I can't wait to tell Nick the big news. We're gonna be roommates. Well, it's gonna be a process, but uh, he'll he'll come to he'll come to love it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, hey, Lava Duck, you haven't been there in a while. Consistency, am I right? Uh, I guess we can go over to Nick and tell him the good news. Uh, Nick? Nickety Nick, yeah. Nick? I'm in your backyard. Yeah. Have you noticed we don't have backyards? Well, kind of, but they're just kind of empty plots. I mean, the property line has always kind of been undefined. Hey, uh, John, what do you want? I come to tell you the great news. Great news? Yeah, come what outside. What are you talking about? It's the Christmas season, Nick, and it's almost there. But I got some great news that you're just gonna love. I Did you get a Christmas present for me? Siri, put get Nick a Christmas present on the list. And uh, we're gonna wait, 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 We're gonna be roommates. R roommates? Yeah, I already got I already I already got the plans accepted at, at the courthouse. Gonna, they're gonna they're gonna bulldoze our houses down and build one what? big house. What? what? Yeah. John? What? Did I did I ever agree to this? Nick, do you ever agree to anything we do? No. You see, but and that's just the fun part. Imagine all the amazing adventures we can go to if we live together. John, you're gonna bulldoze our houses? Both of them, in like two eh, slash three months. You can't do this. I can do this. You you can't do this, John. Like this is my house. This is my house, and you just look, bulldoze look, it look, without look, even look, telling. Look, 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 look. You can tell me I can't do it, but at the end of the day, I can do it. It's like saying saying right. I can't put a kid but on that's... a ride. I'm I can put a kid on the ride. You John, saying I can't doesn't John, mean I that's can't. besides the point. Like yeah, sure, fine, you can do it, but I can't believe you did it. Oh, John, that's this a... is my yeah. house. You oh. you slated it for bulldozing. You slated it for bulldozing without even telling me. Well, I figured you You basically fine. evicted me! Well, we got three months, and I mean, the place shouldn't be that Don't forget hard. the uh. time you sold your house without letting you know! I know, right? I was like, two months ago, and I totally learned my lesson from that. Uh, no, you clearly didn't. What do you mean? You clearly didn't, John, because now, now you're gonna, now you're gonna excavate my house. Both of them, not just yours. Come on, we're in this together. No, John. You can't make decisions for me like this. Well, I, I'm my own person. But I don't understand. Don't, don't you want to be roommates? John, we get into all of these crazy situations as it is. Well, yeah. Well, it's crazy situations. What if we actually... Okay, let's recap. We went to a desert. We found a clone of me. You captured it. There's someone in your basement. I don't know. You're you're more the mystery man here, Nick. I mean, I think yeah, I'm just but, along for your adventure. <laughs> but John, that's that's kind of it, isn't it? Like, I don't want I don't I don't want to move in with you because I need space for all my stuff. Well, wait. It's a big house. You can see the floor plans for it. It's like it has like two stories. It's super big. It's like it's bigger than Ashley's house. That's besides the point, John. Like, I just can't believe you made this decision for me without even asking. I guess you're right. I should have given some forethought to it. Right? Oh, I came here to be my own person. What do you mean you came here? We've always known each other. What do you mean? Never mind. Look, John. I just. I I don't I don't think I have to say how upset I am with you. Well, no, you're kind of verbally upset right now, Nick. Um. Yeah. Huh. I just. I don't know. It's just like. It's been weird. Like I said, the last few months you've been acting strange. You haven't been yourself. You've been kind of paranoid. I thought the change might help. John, all I wanted to do was to have my own place and to just let me do my own things. I just, I can't believe. By the Ugh. way, that fishing pole, what did you ever do with it? Fishing pole? Forget about the fishing pole, John. It may as well get, it may as well get thrown into the trash, too. Well... Just because you're moving in doesn't mean you have to throw all your stuff away. No, you know what? Forget it, John. I, I don't want to have anything to do with this. What? 
You can bulldoze my house for all I care, but I'm moving out. I don't want to live here anymore. Nick, you can't do that. You're my best yeah, friend. Yeah, I, I can. Because if you can bulldoze my house, I can move out. So I'm going. Nick, Nick, Nick we live in the middle of nowhere. You're going to be walking for hours. If that's what it takes, then I will. I think I might have messed up. Maybe Ashley will know what I should do next. Where's he going to move to? Seriously, he's still walking. We're in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know if there's anything in that direction. Uh, what are you doing, Ashley? Hanging up the curtains. Uh, you getting, well, blue is a very Christmas color, you know. Are you getting ready it, for it, Christmas? Well, I probably should put up a Christmas tree. Anyways, why are you over? Well, I mean, neighbors and <laughs> whatnot. I mean, but, uh, yeah, but uh, just, you know, asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I might have made a mistake all right a nothing mistake. new here well, but go on <laughs> well this time the mistake might have left a permanent effect you know something that i probably should learn a lesson from still nothing new here continue i just feel like i hurt somebody they're feeling nothing new here continue what did you do i just feel bad and i, I have me and Nick's houses on the list to be bulldozed in two months. Okay, but why? But why though? So we, so I could, we can get a a, a bigger house built to be, you know, live together. I mean, John, I get that, but did you ever think about maybe asking him and talking to him first about it before I mean, deciding to bulldoze his I house? Just, I just thought he'd say no, and I didn't want him to say no. I just well, to if be he my said friend. no, if he said no, then. You know, it's a no. John, you got to respect personal space here, bud. Y'all spend almost every single day together. I mean, y'all go and eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at each other's houses. You've got to understand that if he needs some personal space, he needs personal space. The house is super big. It wouldn't even be a problem. It even has its own basements. I, I made sure he would have I its mean, own space. Look, I even but how, to... how would you feel? How would you feel if he decided to just bulldoze your house? I would be so excited. I hate my cruddy house. Well, then, what if he loves his cruddy house? But then, but it's cruddy, and it has But what if he loves it? it? I, I don't know. He just walked off, and I don't even he know He has a basement at. in there that has all of his stuff, and, you know, it took him a while to build all that. He's really proud of it, and now you're going to bulldoze the house. It's sort of weird. We've only been living here for about a year. The last place we lived in, we had a ditch. Well, he worked hard for it, and he worked hard on that basement, and it paid off. I know. It's where he keeps all his secret stuff. Yeah, you see, he he probably doesn't appreciate You know, maybe if you had just asked him first and talked about it first to him, maybe he would have said yes. I think it's more of the fact that you decided to do this without his permission. But what do I do? He already moved out, and he was kind of hot-headed when he left. I mean, I say give it some time. Maybe in a week we'll go visit him and we'll talk him back. How week? does that sound? But what happens if he likes his current situation better? What happens if he well, meets a new Well, then John? you have to, I guess, accept the fact that you messed up and all you can do is apologize. So there could be consequences to my actions? Exactly, John. Exactly. Oh. <sighs> Come on, y'all. You, you, can, you can stay here. And then once the week is over, we'll go. We'll go and see Nick. Me to make you breakfast. Can you? Can you actually do that? Make Nick breakfast in bed every morning. Oh, yeah. Go. Go. Do, I'll go. I'll go out and buy a bed, and we'll put a little a little bedroom down here for you. Okay. Okay. Y you you cook us some breakfast. I'll be back. Then I'll I'll bring you I'll bring you your games too. You have no way. We'll kill the chicken! <laughs> well, John, I think this is it. What? I mean, it looks really nice. I don't know uh, I don't know if Nick could afford something like this. You know, he didn't well, have a job. He worked I mean, online. Uh, huh, no hello? Job. Hello? Anyone? No, no. It is kind of late. Anyone so here? Might be kind of... Hello? Management might be asleep, I guess, if uh, that makes sense. Oh, those look like keys, though. Hey, well, I, I don't think Nick like... will mind if we take his key. 
We'll just hope well, this one's it. Are you sure that's it? It's the yeah. top floor. Do you think Nick would yeah. take the top floor? Yeah, he always talked about how he wanted to have a beachside view. Uh, like well, I guess that's the closest thing to a beachside view, just the top floor. Where do we live again? It looks like we live in I, it looks like We live in the middle of nowhere. That's as much as I know. Why is everything we go to just in the middle of nowhere? You know, you know, the, you know, they... where, the, you know where the floor plans I had? You know, we would live in a cul-de-sac. It would be super cool. Oh, you were right. Oh, look at that. Now, let me see. Uh, don't, oh, don't just open this door. He's going to get mad. No, close it. Oh. Close it. Knock. No. Knock, knock. Hello? Oh, I'll stay down here. He might, he, might, he might let you in. Who's there? It's me. Ashley. Ashley. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Nick. Hello. Hey, it's nice to see you. So, nice uh, to see you, too. Get up here. Who are you, talk who are you talking to? First, first, get his, first get, lower into a false insecurity, then I'll go. <sighs> John's waiting by the by the stairs over there. He he, Wait, he what? misses you. He's sorry. I John. might have learned a lesson. And what he might have you took learn, in your John? key. You took my key. No, nope. you didn't learn anything. You just threw. <laughs> oh my God! I learned. Can we a come lesson. in, please? Yeah, sure. Come Let's in. Let's not make a uh, any noises. So your neighbors hear us. Yeah, I was huh. baking a uh, pumpkin pie. What the? Wow, Do you like Nick. pumpkin pie? Wow. This is a really snazzy place. Do you need a roommate? Uh, I mean, I guess this place does accommodate for a second person, but I mean, I don't really need a roommate. You even have I'm doing well for myself here. Wow, Nick, what have you? What kind of a profession have you gone into? Oh, um, I'm an online entrepreneur. Oh, really? What's yeah. Do you mind Bitcoin? if I look around? Yeah, no worries. Hey, you guys want cake or pie or something? I uh, baked it myself. Uh, do you, you have anything bake? that's not sweet? You can't cook. Yeah, I can. No, you... I cooked all your meals. I, I always oh. let you because it meant a lot to you. Nick, your bedroom's so nice. Oh, thanks. What is this? Wow, you even got a master bathtub? That's insane. I mean, insane. if that's what you want to call it, I mean, the bathrooms here are really nice. This is this is amazing, Nick. I'm super happy for you. You really made it. Yeah. Wow. John? Let's go. Where let's go. John? No, John, you get back in. So, John no cake? John, come on. Well, let's go. No, John. No. Nick. What what's going on? Why'd you guys come here? John wanted to apologize. John. John wants you back. No. Well. Please help me out with him. All right. John, come back here. No. John, come on. No What's wrong? These are a lot of flights of stairs. They're yeah, really I really need an John, elevator in here. John, like, seriously, my aerobics exercise is... I'm, I'm not. It's just I have to... I had Good to do likes. aerobics every day to John, what what are you talking about? Why did why did you come here? Ashley says it was to apologize, but you're kinda of just leaving off in a huff. Oh. Hmm. I don't need to apologize. You're doing well. You're doing better than I thought. You don't need me to apologize. Look look at yourself. Why well, should I apologize for you having a better life? I'm sorry I was in it. What John? Oh, after him. Okay. John, get back here. No. Why? I don't want to. Why not? Well, look. Why do you need me? Why do I you mean, need anyone? You're doing John, a lot better. John, that was the point. I never needed anyone. The only reason I came to move next to you was because I knew that you needed someone. Oh. So what, you just... You but I left because... Back? Yes, John. Why? I The reason I left was because I kind of got the feeling that you weren't appreciating me. I was doing everything for you, John. I even let you cook for me in the middle of the night just because you felt like you wanted to be nice to me. Maybe after a year of doing it, 
I don't think it was a favor of you. Maybe I thought you needed me more than I ever needed you. That's why I don't want you back. You can stay here. You know what? But John, That's don't fine. you want me back? He does. Not if it means that you have to sacrifice that much. Sacrifice? Dealing with me. I mean, look, you, you actually held your job. You got an apartment that, I mean, I could never afford. You're doing well. Why would you want to go back? Like you said, you were doing it for me. I don't need it anymore. I mean, are you sure about that? You seem clearly upset. I guess realizing that you did need me was that the part that upset you, because I did need you. You were my friend. Maybe that's why I want us to move in together, because I didn't want to be alone anymore. John. We weren't al you weren't alone. Like, I was your neighbor. We did everything together every day. And look what it caused you. I wonder why you couldn't keep a job yet. You couldn't keep a job because I kept dragging you out of your house. John, that's besides the point. I was there for you, man. But why? Because you're my friend. But you know what friends don't do? Pull down those friends house without asking yeah friends don't make decisions for their friends like that all right i'm not going to make another decision for you because i obviously can't i can't even make my own decisions that's you want to come back in have some pie i guess come on john let's go maybe we can sit down and talk about it and we can you know, well, we can talk more about, about your plan. Well, you never talked about how Nick's feeling. How Nick's doing. Maybe this time change it around and ask him what he wants. Always hard. They really should put an elevator in this place. They really should. It's they, the it's, only it's, thing. <laughs> I bet so is that stairs. is rent cheap because of the stairs or not gonna lie. They did discount the rent on the penthouse suite because of the stairs, but it was never take... really a problem for me. You also didn't shut your door. Groceries and that up scares here. Me. Huh? Presents. Hmm. All right, come on, John. This time, you sit down and ask Nick what he wants. He's always worrying about you and what you can need or want. And always worrying about you. This time, you do it to him. I'll leave the room. Y'all two can talk it out. This time, you ask him what he wants and what he needs. I'm going to stay in your bedroom, okay? Probably yeah, okay. take a nap. All right, thanks. Uh, yeah, take a nap. Uh, you can play video games, too, if you want. I'm just going to nap. All right. Do you have your video games in your room? Of course I do. Undertime's my favorite game. Yeah. I wonder where my copy went. Well, I didn't take it. Didn't he take my copy? No, that's a, that's a story for another day. <laughs> I mean, maybe he did. So, want to sit down? Yeah, sure. I just realized I forgot how to sit. Huh. That's... Oh, well. I'll just squat. No, no, no. It's your house. Take that seat. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. All right, fine. hard I mean look I mean what am I supposed to say you obviously did better without me I don't want you to come back if that's what that means but I that's not what it was ever about John and what was it about why would you put up with me it's not about putting up with you it was about having you as my friend I, it just seems like I held you back so much John I didn't care about that and even though even though, yeah, I'm able to have a nice apartment and get a great job or whatever. I mean, I only was able to do all that because I didn't have you. What do you mean? It's a trade-off, John. Like, you either sacrifice your work for, your, for the rest of the parts of your life, or you do the opposite. And, I mean, without a friend, I mean, I didn't have anything to distract me with. Like, 
The only thing I had to distract me with was what about getting promotions, you know, selling more, getting more money, getting a nice TV. What about, about your inventions? What about your basement? You, you love doing that stuff. You I mean, I do. I do like doing that stuff, too. But, you... but I don't know. I guess I just kind of realized that I don't really need those parts of my life. I don't really need much of anything. More about what I want. I can't help but notice all these presents are from, your, from yourself. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I kind of, I guess I kind of missed the idea of, you know, getting together with everyone and, and just sharing and whatnot. It's been lonely here, John. Not gonna lie. Well, I mean, the house is the houses are still gonna get bulldozed. I can't stop that. I'm gonna be straight up. I can't. What we can <sighs> do is I can. We could have them rebuilt the same way, or. We could have the apartment built, or not the apartment, the uh, the bigger house if you want. Uh, I know it might not be what you want right now, but we could move the stuff out of the basement. I told you the floor plans didn't have a basement in it. We'd have a pool table, and we'd have two separate rooms. Uh, the house is split in half, by the way, distinguishing our personalities. I would have all your gadgets on one side and all my clown stuff on the other side. I really did think it out. Well, that's really nice of you. I don't want you to be alone, yet I don't want you to burden yourself being my friend. John, you know, it really isn't that much of a burden. I was just upset because... Have you seen Ashley? <laughs> huh? She I said did. she was napping in my room. No, but I've been doing everything I do for you for her, and she's been crazy. I mean, I Has she really been? Yeah, I woke up last night and made her a cake, a potato, and soup. <laughs> well, now you know how uh, how it must feel. So what? We put up with each other? Yeah, of course we do. That's part of what being friends is for. Well, if you want, we can move back, and when the time comes, we'll build the house together. I can have you look at the blueprints. You'd probably be smarter at it than I am. I mean, that'd be nice. And I, we could build the perfect house. And talking about Christmas, I did eventually buy you a gift, and uh, we need to set up the tree. Oh, well, uh, did you see this? I tried to even grow my own tree, but this little guy doesn't seem to want to go. Well, it just seems like it's not getting enough sun. Have you been watering it? I have been watering it. Hmm. I've been giving it flirt. I think its leaves are starting to turn purple. If you're ready to go, then I am. Yeah, sure. Let's just abandon this place. Why the heck not? Are you sure you don't want pie, though? <sighs> yeah, sure. Let's get Ashley. All right. Ashley, pie! Pie? Pie! pie. But I don't like sweets. Uh, well, then just this... pretend to eat it. Okay. Eh. Man, you did buy a lot of presents for yourself, didn't you? Yep. Oh, speaking of presents, I got you a present, Nick. Really? Yeah. What'd you Give get it me? To you later, though. Oh, later. It's a surprise. <laughs> well, so how how are things yet. go? How are things go? Everything's fixed up between the two of you. Kiss yeah. and make up. We all good? Well, we didn't kiss, but we definitely made up. Yeah. Do you need a mistletoe? No. Jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think we're each other's type, as funny as it sounds. But uh, right. we do have an understanding of each other. We That's deal good. With each other. I'm glad. I'm happy. So, are we? what are we doing then? Are we going to spend the night here, then go back in the morning? Because it is pretty late. I mean, if you want, sure. suppose so. The couch is really comfy. You did say you had under time. I'll just take the bed again. Hey, wait. That's my bedroom. Yeah, we but... can sleep on the couch. I'd but... rather sleep in the bathtub. The bathtub's pretty <laughs> comfy, too. What do you mean? Just put a pillow in the bathtub. You have no idea how comfy that bathtub is. Sometimes, like, sometimes if I don't feel like sleeping in my bedroom, I just come in here and lie down in the tub. We don't even oh, have bathrooms yeah. in our house. That's oh, really yeah. spacious. See? What did I tell you? 
Where do we buy our houses from? We don't even have bathrooms in ours. Dude, I think you got gypped. I mean, there's really no reason to have a bathroom, but I mean, it's nice. You're right. It's nice. So yeah, I'll take the bathtub. Ashley, you can take the bedroom. Woo! John, you take the couch. Or you can sleep in here if you want. Sure. Or someone can take a closet. I don't know. 